Although the help and learning page on Evernote's website call it advanced search syntax, the first time I came across it was on the Evernote developer's website, reading the article Search Grammar on Evernote. I much prefer grammar, but from now on, please consider grammar, search grammar, advanced search syntax, advanced search as interchangeable designations. Whatever it is called, we are talking about a mighty feature of Evernote that I'll teach you step by step. Today we start explaining you the basic rules plus the first three grammar terms. And Mastodons and Beyond on my Patreon have access to an Evernote note, one note per video containing all the explanation and more details and examples. All the terms I'll be showing you from now on on all the videos about advanced search have to be typed in the search box. Upper and lower case return the same results. Multiple words return notes with only all the notes, but they can be anywhere in the note. If you use quotation marks in several words, Evernote will return an exact match. And an asterisk on the end of the word returns results containing the minimal of those letters. Time to go to the computer, okay? Remember that we have to go to the search bar. I'll start with notebook. Just type notebook colon and the name of a notebook. Projects, for example. If you pay attention, you see that it didn't open the notebook. It's only a list of all the notes inside that notebook. If we were to open the notebook, Command J on Mac or Control Q on Windows, projects, select projects. Did you see the difference? We are now inside the notebook. We opened the notebook. We have the name of the notebook on the top of the list. Okay, let's try now notebook knowledge base. <laughs> Just kidding. If your notebook has more than one word, you have to use a quotation mark. Let's do it. Search again. And here we have it. Again, this is a list of notes that are inside that notebook. The stack term works just like notebook, including the quotation marks. Let's try this one here. I have a stack called online with two notebooks inside it. We have here 16 plus three notes, so 19 notes. Let's try it. Stack online. Here we go. 19 notes found again just a list of all notes inside both of those notebooks. Tags can be a little tricky, especially when used together with other grammar terms, but I'm sure you get it. Let's try tag Evernote, the tag term, column, and the tag name. Bear with me for a moment here. Let's take a look at the notes. This one here has three tags. One of them is Evernote, three again, one, this one has only Evernote, Evernote. It doesn't matter if the note has or not other tags. The condition is the note has to have the Evernote tag. That's it. This is just the beginning. And of course I created a playlist for all the advanced search videos. For the next one, I'll show you how to combine this and other search terms using comments to include or exclude notes, tags, notebooks, and stacks. And if this was useful for you, I'd appreciate a thumbs up. See you soon.